Hi everyone, my name's Andrew, and welcome as we continue our series on tinea or ringworms. In this video, we will be specifically touching on tinea corporis, we will be going over the etiology and pathophysiology of tinea corporis, the clinical manifestations, assessments, and finish off with prognosis. So let's get started. Now tinea corporis is known as ringworm of the body. It is caused by a tiny fungus called a dermatophyte. It can be transferred either through contact with the skin of an infected person or even through contact with an infected animal, such as a cat or a dog. It usually appears on parts of the body that have little or no hair. Wait, don't go just yet. If you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website to access more great, easy to follow videos. Don't worry. Nursing Study Buddy will be posting free videos for our YouTube subscribers and a wide variety of snippets from our video library at nursingstudybuddy.com. Nursing Study Buddy was designed for those nursing students and current nursing students who are struggling with their educational experience. So if you're a pro, whiz, Einstein, or even Stephen Hawking's nephew and have no trouble studying and acing your tests and quizzes, nursingstudybuddy.com is not for you. With new videos being added every week, what are you waiting for? Visit nursingstudybuddy.com and sign up for a one day free trial and put some free time back in your life by cutting down your study time while improving your test scores. We'll see you there.